Hi folks, this is Brad Caleb, PhD. I have a personal involvement in this matter and pay attention how Trump's power tantrum could cause Canada to become the North Americas. This is not just a simple little thing. There's a spiritual aspect that I am really concerned about and I hope that you guys pay attention. North America, become aware that what is playing down south it's going to affect you if you don't do anything about it. Good day, this is Brer Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. We continue to work for the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter during this tremendous time. I am concerned about the situation that is developing in Canada I lived there for 35 years plus, and now we realize that somewhere, somehow, Canada will be drawn into a temper tantrum from Trump. What am I talking about? As you can see, when you're building a wall, there's a plumb line. They call it plumb bob. They use a string hanging from a tag, and if you want to find out the wallpaper width or whatever you putting on the wall there, then you use the string to let it just slide against the wall and you will know now whether the plumb line is correct. This is what is happening and developing spiritually but also politically. And I forecast that if Canada does not watch itself, they will be drawn into something that they fought for so long and so hard to become independent from the United States, that they will be part and parcel a victim, victimized by the North America Treaty. United States and Canada will become one if they don't watch themselves. Let's pay some attention, folks, because this is serious stuff. Like I said before, how Trump's power tantrum could cause Canada to become the North Americas why leadership failed. Many people wonder why in the world is he talking about politics? Well, the unfortunate situation right now in Canada is that leadership fails the plumb line. And why they fail the plumb line? It is a simple scenario. I have been talking about the leadership in the body of Christ. As we are seeing in those days, in the days that we're living in today, that there is a complicated matter that is a very fine line. It took me a long time to learn this because I was in Canada for 18 years involved in a court case. And you say, how in the world is that possible? It is not possible, but if you belong to a certain party, in this case the Freemasons, and you happen to be the head of that, you seem to have a lot of power. And so my best friend that I turned down in a business transaction, we now had a conflict. And no matter what I did, he said, you will notice how much power I have. So there is a conflict that is not just a mental conflict, it is a spiritual conflict. And as such, you and I, we have to pay attention. I talked about my discovery of PMS. And the series that we're dealing with is restorative justice. Restorative justice from PMS. Because I know that women don't like hearing that word because for some it is an agony every month going through it. For others, it is less problematic. However, the PMS I am referring to is PMS versus PMS. God created us, body, physical, mental. We could communicate, we could talk with God and talk with each other. And S for spirituality, spiritual. So PMS. And then Satan came about because he wanted to destroy the relationship between God the Father and his children, Adam and Eve. And so he came with a proposition. And Adam and Eve, in their ignorance, they sided with Satan. 
that immediately caused a repercussion for them because they got cut off of the relationship with God. For God is almighty and with God there is no darkness. So when Adam and Eve were apprenticed from God and in order to learn from God how to become spiritual, a ever living creature, they could not side with Satan unless they made a decision individually. Now we, we living today in 2020, we have that same decision to make. And what is the PMS from Satan? Politics and from money, the S for spirituality or religion. And we notice that the leadership of the body of Christ has failed in so many areas. And we are dealing with this, not because we enjoy pointing out fingers, but when you have loss, spiritual loss, and you have a plumb line, you have a guideline that you need to work with in order to get everything proper, we need to understand what the misinformation is. And if the leadership from the body of Christ has been feeding you or misleading you, knowingly or unknowingly, then we have a right to stand up because how can you stay living or healthy in a imperfect world? We have a problem, folks, a major problem. And this problem is that we have been so satisfied. We have our praise the Lord meetings, the hallelujah. We pray and we accept Jesus. It doesn't matter how lousy I've been as long as I just say Jesus and I can go to heaven. It is a misconception. And now that we are facing the situation down south, and when I say we, I'm talking from a Canadian perspective, down south with Trump and Biden, leadership is falling apart. They are talking about, thus says the Lord, and God spoke, and, and Trump is going to be elect. Well, in the meantime, he is creating a major disaster because he has a tundrum, a Trump tandem. If it isn't not about him, if it isn't about him and him alone, maybe I hope you got the message. There is something wrong. This person has a problem, and that is his problem. I'm not attacking that. Being a narcissist, it's too bad. However, the enablers, the body of Christ, the majority of them standing up and voting for a man because they are blinded can cost Canada their country. Yes, folks, you hear me right. If you do not wake up spiritually and you just let everything just go because you want to be nice Canadians, you know, and hey, there's no problem, eh? Yes, sir, there is a problem. You got to wake up and smell the roses. Because what 2020 teaches us, can we reboot our fundamentals? A fundamental is when you build a building, and that is why I keep on calling it post hole dicker. I keep on working on a proper foundation for the children of God, the prodigal son and prodigal daughter, because I was one of them. And when I finally got it straight, when I finally learned what reality was all about, I had some major decisions to make and I did not like it. For me, it was an 18 year long court situation. I was drawn in it. It cost millions of dollars. I've wasted millions of dollars of my customers' money and I regret it to the core. On top of it, we lost billions of dollars in assets. Yes, the money was earmarked, everything was prepped, but we, or I, goofed up because I did not know the basic guidelines. And going back to the basics, that is what in sports is what helps you when you play squash like I used to do. I love squats, squash. But when you play squash, you always go back to the basics. And the better you become in the basics, the more successful you become in the sport. Going back now to Christianity, to the leadership, Folks, 
What are we doing? If we don't wake up and go back to the basics, the way, the truth and the light, that is what was chosen by God. God said, this is my son. Jeshua was the first one, Jeshua HaMashiach, and most people made it Jesus. So let's stick to the name Jeshua. You know him as Jesus. When we make a decision to follow Jeshua or Jesus, which Jesus are you following? The Jesus that is filled with paganism, with witchcraft. Yes, folks, witchcraft in the church. Wake up. I don't care how many hallelujahs you say, how hard you pray in tongues, but if you're praying in a place of worship filled with paganism and witchcraft, God says he will not reside there. We were supposed to follow the truth and the light, and the truth says there is only one God, and his name is El Shaddai, the creator, Adonai, God is an almighty God, but he is patient and he is a wonderful God because he loves us. He gives us a chance, but the time is coming, folks, that we will become part of it that we don't like. And what I'm sharing with you, if Canada doesn't wake up, right now is a time that we still can repent. Right now, Canada can wake up and say, I don't want to be part of that North America or the Americas. Financial people that control people through money and through politics, they are deciding already. We'll just clean up this mess. Trump, forget him. Biden, they don't want. Excuse me? Who are those people? And that is what I want you to think about. Are there powers beyond us? BMS that are serving an other God, not the God Almighty, but the one of this world that supposedly control the people through money. Folks, wake up, smell the roses, think about what is going on. And you know the creator is the offending is the offended party, and the offender is Satan. And when God created paradise and all that came with it, he created Adam and Eve. And we were part of that. And he gave us a way out. He gave us a restorative justice. He said, I am a just God. I love my children. I want my children to be reunited. Are you willing to be reunited with the creator, with God? Instead of just reading your Bible, going to church and not realizing that you're offending God day after day after day by not looking into the way as God has appointed us. Folks, I had a very, very hard time, almost 20 years of my life, focused on certain things in this life because I was defending myself. And as I was defending in court, legally I started to understand as self-defense, which under the Charter Rights of Freedom of Canada is not allowed, you are supposed to have a lawyer. But they denied me that because the power was with the Freemasons. They would determine what my fate was. And so I lost all the money. I lost millions. I lost my property, but I gained my freedom. And I'm sharing with you folks that freedom and peace of mind is worth everything. And will you please pay attention to what I'm sharing? Because you might be sitting all the way up in your high chairs and saying, ha, we are fine. We are not the Americas. But folks, if you don't watch it, this temper tantrum from Trump can cost you Canada and you will be part of the Americas and changes are coming that you do not like but tough times tough times never last but tough people do because we have a way out 
We can repent and we can go to God Almighty, the Father, but we can come only as a prodigal son or daughter. Not because I am a Christian from X, Y, Z, I'm a Roman Catholic or Baptist, a Baptist, Baptist and Baptistical. When you would marry a, a, a Pentecost and a Baptist, you get a Baptistical. However, a silly little thing can cost you your life if we don't seek the truth. And he said, seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all those other things shall be added unto you. God bless you. Bye for now.